SpeedyB just broke the flight controller market. But Pavel, why, you might ask? And the answer is quite simple. They just released the new flight controller and ESC. The flight controller is called the SpeedyB F405 V4 and the ESC is the BLS 55 amp. I have it, so let me show you what's what and what they change. And really, for 69.99 American dollars it's a steal that's the new speedy b f405 v4 stack let's begin with the esc the esc is nothing really special because on the outside it's just any other four in one 55 amp esc great for any quadcopter fpv drone and not only you get the motor parts you get the battery parts on the other side you have the connector for the wire to connect to the flight controller and on the the top the metal heatsink on the downside it's only bl heli s but it's only 39.99 bl heli 32 might have some special features bl heli s lacks but basic flight performance should be almost exactly the same now let's talk a little about the f405 v4 flight controller the biggest question is what they changed comparing to the v3 on the outside almost nothing Nothing changed. This is the V3, this is the V4. USB C, MCU, battery voltage indicator, connectors on the left, connectors on the right. And without looking at the markings, it's really hard to decide which one is which. The V4 version solves probably the biggest problem V3 had. Right now, all the SPI connected devices, the gyro, OSD, and SD card are connected to separate buses. In case of V3, the SD card and OSD were sharing the same SPI bus and it was causing problems. Now, this problem is gone. They also changed gyro. V4 no longer has the BMI 270. It right now has the ICM 42688P. And on top of that, they increase the surge protection and the max load on the LDOs. Right now 5 volt back has 3 amps in total and 9 volt backs also has 3 amps in total. Comparing to the 2 amps the V3 had, this is like 50% increase of the available current on the flight controller. Not only this flight controller right now has no problems of supporting both motors and servos on the first four outputs, so flying wing with the F405 V4 absolutely not a problem. It also solves the problem of lack of D-shot in INAF. Right now, D shot just works. On top of that, you get a standard SpeedyB setup. You get the barometer, six serial ports from which two are reserved, one for the Bluetooth connection and one for the ESC telemetry, as well as the I2C connectivity and of course all the other features that Betaflight and INAV provide. If you ask me, I am kinda impressed. Not really impressed by the technical specification of the flight controller because there is nothing really super new. Everything that you get with the F405 V4 and the new ESC, it's nothing really new. The new thing is that they managed somehow. Honestly, I don't know how how they managed to make it affordable. So not only it's full of features like the Bluetooth or the LED indication of the battery voltage, but it is comparing price to function extremely cheap. Honestly, how are they able to sell the full flight stack for a price some different companies are selling only the flight controller? What kind of the deal they made? Amazing. Now, this is a new product and it looks very optimistic. Seems like SpeedyB fixed the biggest issues that the previous product, the F405 F3, was facing. Finally, every SPI bus device is connected to a separate SPI bus, so gyro, SD card and OSD, there are no conflict between them. They improved the output mapping so you can easily 
only use the F405 V4 on airplanes and they ditched the BMI 270 for, in my opinion, better gyro. On top of that, the ESC of course got better MOSFET, it has the lower internal resistance, higher capacitance, etc, etc, etc. The only thing I wish the new ESC had is the BL Heli 32. I know I'm wishing for much, but having this ESC with BL Heli 32 and all the features that the BL Heli 32 brings to the table would be even better. Drop in the comments what you think about this stack. Like I said already, I'm kinda impressed. I would like to know what you think. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!